Understanding Quadrilaterals A Detailed Study of Parallelograms The opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal in measure. So, till now we have learnt different types of quadrilaterals. In a parallelogram, the opposite sides are parallel to each other. Let's now learn about the opposite angles of a parallelogram. Observe the quadrilateral ABCD, which is a parallelogram. Side AB is parallel to side DC and side AD is parallel to side BC. Side AB is congruent to side DC and side AD is congruent to side BC. Let's now extend all four sides. So, the figure will look like this. Now let's consider the angle ADC as 1 and the angle DAB as 2. Now side AB and DC are parallel. So AD becomes transversal for these two sides. And the angle ADC and DAB are supplementary. Therefore angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180 degrees. Let's consider this as equation 1. Now, side AD and BC are parallel. So, AB becomes transversal for these two sides. And the angle DAB and angle ABC are supplementary. Therefore, angle ABC plus angle 2 is equal to 180 degrees. Let's consider this as equation 2. So, we have got two equations now. Let's compare these two equations. You can see that the right hand side of both the equations is equal. Therefore, we can equate the left hand side. So, we get angle ABC plus angle 2 is equal to angle 1 plus angle 2. We cancel out the angle 2 from both the sides and we get angle ABC is equal to angle 1. In the same way, we can show that the angle BCD is equal to angle 2. That proves that the opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal in measure. State whether the statement is true or false. The adjacent angles in a parallelogram are supplementary. The statement is true because they are interior angles of parallel lines. Those are always supplementary. Let's now try this question based on the opposite angles of a parallelogram. Find the values of the unknown angles x, y and z. Now you can see in the figure that the measure of an angle B is 100 degrees. As you know, the opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal in measure. Therefore, the measure of angle B is equal to measure of an angle D that is y degree that is 100 degrees. Now angle Y and X are supplementary angles. So they add up to 180 degrees. Therefore, measure of an angle X is equal to 180 minus 100 which is equal to 80 degrees. As you can see, the angle X and Z are opposite angles. Therefore, measure of an angle X is equal to Z is equal to 80 degrees. So, we found out the measures of all the unknown angles. Angle X is 80 degrees, angle Y is 100 degrees and angle Z is 80 degrees. Solve the following. In the given figure, ABCD is a parallelogram in which angle BCD is equal to 70 degrees and angle ADB is equal to 60 degrees. Find angle ABD and angle CBD. As we know the opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal, so angle BCD is equal to angle BAD. Angle BAD is equal to 70 degrees. Since angle BCD is equal to 70 degrees. Now in triangle ABD, Angle ABD plus angle BAD plus angle ADB is equal to 180 degrees. 
Therefore, angle ABD plus 70 degrees plus 60 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, angle ABD is equal to 180 degrees minus 130 degrees. Therefore, angle ABD is equal to 50 degrees. Angle ADB and angle CBD are alternate angles. We know alternate angles are equal. Therefore, angle CBD is equal to 60 degrees. Let's try another one. Find the values of X, Y and Z in each case. As we know, the opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal in length. Here, side AB is equal to side DC. So, 3x plus 8 is equal to 35. Therefore, 3x is equal to 35 minus 8. Therefore, 3x is equal to 27. Therefore, x is equal to 27 divided by 3. Therefore, x is equal to 9. Thus, the value of x in the above figure is 9. State whether true or false. Correct the false statements. All parallelograms are trapeziums. The above statement is true. Solve the following. In a parallelogram ABCD, if angle C is equal to 3x plus 15 degrees, angle D is equal to 2x plus 10 degrees, find the value of x. Angle A is equal to 5y, angle B is equal to 3y plus 20 degrees. Find the value of y. As we know, the sum of adjacent angles of a parallelogram is 180 degrees. So, angle C plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, 3x plus 15 degrees plus 2x plus 10 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, 5x plus 25 is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, 5x is equal to 180 minus 25. Therefore, 5x is equal to 155. Therefore, x is equal to 155 divided by 5, which is equal to 31 degrees. As we know, the sum of adjacent angles of a parallelogram is 180 degrees. So, angle A plus angle B is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, 5y degrees plus 3y plus 20 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, 5y plus 3y plus 20 is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, 8y plus 20 is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, 8y is equal to 180 degrees minus 20 degrees. Therefore, 8y is equal to 160 degrees. Therefore, y is equal to 160 divided by 8, which is equal to 20 degrees. Solve the following. In the adjacent figure, PQRS is a parallelogram. Find each angle of the parallelogram marked with a letter. The opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent. Angle S is congruent to angle Q. But angle S is equal to 110 degrees. Therefore, angle Q is equal to 110 degrees. Therefore, X degrees is equal to 110 degrees. Now consider triangle SPR. Addition of all angles of triangle is 180 degrees. Therefore, y degrees is equal to 180 degrees minus 110 degrees plus 30 degrees. Therefore, y degrees is equal to 180 degrees minus 140 degrees. Therefore, y degrees is equal to 40 degrees. Angle SRP and angle RPQ are alternate angles. We know alternate angles are equal. Angle SRP is equal to 30 degrees which is equal to angle RPQ. Angle RPQ is equal to Z degrees which is equal to 30 degrees. Now, angle SPR and angle PRQ are alternate angles. We know alternate angles are equal. 
angle SPR is equal to Y degrees which is equal to 40 degrees which is equal to angle PRQ. Now angle PRQ is equal to T degrees which is equal to 40 degrees. Let's take a look at another sum. The measures of two adjacent angles of a parallelogram are in the ratio 3 is to 2. Find the measure of each of the angles of the parallelogram. Since their ratio is 3 is to 2, their measures are 3x and 2x degree. As you know, the sum of two adjacent angles of a parallelogram is 180 degrees. Therefore, 3x plus 2x is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, 5x is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, x is equal to 180 degrees divided by 5, which is equal to 36 degrees. Therefore, the angles are 3x which is equal to 3 multiplied by 36 degrees which is equal to 108 degrees and 2x which is equal to 2 multiplied by 36 degrees which is equal to 72 degrees. Let's now learn about the diagonals of a parallelogram. A parallelogram has two diagonals. We have to prove that they bisect each other. Observe the quadrilateral ABCD which is a parallelogram. What do you know about the parallelogram? We know that opposite sides are congruent. Therefore, side AB is congruent to side DC and side AD is congruent to side BC. What else do we know about the parallelogram? The opposite angles are also equal. Therefore, angle ADC is congruent to angle ABC and angle BAD is congruent to angle BCD. Now let's draw the diagonals for this parallelogram. Now consider triangle ADB and triangle BCD. In these triangles, the side AD is congruent to side BC and side AB is congruent to side CD. Why? Because these are the opposite sides of a parallelogram. And the angle BAD is congruent to angle BCD as these are the opposite angles of a parallelogram. Therefore, triangle ADB and triangle BCD are congruent by side angle side test. In triangle ADB and triangle BCD, angle ADB is congruent to angle DBC and angle ABD is congruent to angle BDC. Because they are the corresponding angles of congruent triangles. Similarly, in triangle ABC and triangle ADC, angle BAC is congruent to angle ADC and angle DAC is congruent to angle ACB because they are the corresponding angles of congruent triangles. But let's look at another way of proving this, which is just too easy. You know that the opposite sides are parallel. So, side AB is parallel to side DC and AC is transversal. Therefore, angle BAC is congruent to angle ACD. Why? Because they are the alternate angles of parallel lines. Similarly, side AD is parallel to side BC and AC is transversal. Therefore, angle DAC is congruent to angle ACB. Now with all this, consider the intersection of the diagonals to be point O. Now in triangle AOB and triangle DOC, the side AB is congruent to side DC as they are opposite sides of a parallelogram. From equation 3, you can say that angle BAO is congruent to angle OCD. And from equation 2, you can say that the angle ABO is congruent to angle ODC. Therefore, triangle AOB is congruent to triangle COD by the angle-side-angle -angle test. Now, in triangle AOB and triangle DOC, the side AO is congruent to the side OC because they are corresponding sides of congruent triangle. That means O is the midpoint of side AC. And the side BO is congruent to side OD because they are corresponding sides of congruent triangle. That means O is the midpoint of side BD. As point O is the midpoint of side AC and BD, we can say that both the diagonals intersect each other at their midpoints. 
That means they bisect each other. Now let's look at another sum. The following figure quadrilateral R U N S is a parallelogram. Find x and y. Lengths are in centimeters. Now we know that the diagonals intersect each other at their midpoint. So if you consider the diagonal SU, side SO is congruent to side UO. That is, SO is equal to UO. Put in the values and we get 20 is equal to y plus 7. Transpose y to LHS and we get 20 minus 7 is equal to y. That is, y is equal to 14 centimeters. Similarly, if you consider the diagonal Rn, RO is congruent to NO. That is, RO is equal to NO. We put in the values and we get 16 is equal to x plus y. Put the value of y in this equation. Now, it is 16 is equal to x plus 14. Transpose 14 to LHS and we get 16 minus 14 is equal to x. That is, x is equal to 2 centimeters. Solve the following. Can a quadrilateral ABCD be a parallelogram if angle D plus angle B is equal to 180 degrees? Yes, quadrilateral ABCD can be a parallelogram if angle D plus angle B is equal to 180 degrees. But it should also fulfill some conditions which are The sum of the adjacent angles should be 180 degrees and the opposite angles must be equal. Can a quadrilateral ABCD be a parallelogram if AB is equal to DC which is equal to 8 cm, AD is equal to 4 cm and BC is equal to 4.4 cm? No, quadrilateral ABCD can be a parallelogram if side AB is congruent to side DC and side AD is congruent to side BC. But here, these conditions are not fulfilled. So, ABCD is not a parallelogram. Can you find the lengths of diagonals and measures of angles of parallelogram now? Well done! If you like our videos, do share them and subscribe to our channel. If you want awesome quizzes, write to us. Keep watching and keep learning with Walnut.